The rock cycle is a group of changes that cause rock types to be changed into other types of rocks. For example, sedimentary rocks can be changed into igneous rocks, or metamorphic rocks can be changed into sedimentary rocks, or even metamorphic rocks can be changed into other types of metamorphic rocks. Through the rock cycle, any rock type can be changed into any other rock type. And the rock cycle represents all of the steps and changes that lead to these transformations and many others. The rock cycle is often represented as a model, such as this. All of the processes that lead to the formation of a single rock type, igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic, are all included in the rock cycle. For example, melting and cooling that lead to igneous rocks are included, so are adding heat and pressure to form metamorphic rocks, and all of the steps for sedimentary rock formation, which are weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and lithification, are also included in the rock cycle. The process of rock formation is dynamic, and every rock is at some point in this ever-changing path. The model of the rock cycle pushes us to think about rock change as a less linear process. Not all rocks complete the path that they start. For example, just because a rock is weathered and eroded and deposited and seems to be on the path towards a sedimentary rock does not mean it will make it to become a sedimentary rock. Those deposited pieces or class of that rock might be diverted to become an igneous rock. They might be subducted or pushed underground by plate tectonic movement and become melted and cooled and form an igneous rock. So again, not every rock that starts on a specific path reaches the end of it. This is again a representation of the dynamic process that is the rock cycle. One of the challenges of using this model of the rock cycle is it gives us no perspective of how long each of these changes might take. And it's important to note that the amount of time it takes for each of these steps of the rock cycle is also variable. In some conditions, there may be rapid geologic change, but in others, the same changes may take an extreme amount of time. Regardless of these challenges of the rock cycle, it does, however, provide a useful tool for thinking about the dynamic changes that lead to rock transformation and how one rock type can be changed over time into another rock type.